Hello everybody and welcome to this scouting report. I'm Dan Hayek here with Matt Doyle and today we're previewing the Saturday afternoon match between the Colorado Rapids and Portland Timbers. Matt, what's the hook for this one? Both these teams still looking for their first win of the season, surprisingly in Portland's case. Now let's start our preview by looking at the headlines and of course we noticed that Chris Clute is out for this one, expected to start in his place as Mark Birch. Where will his absence be felt more, the defensive side or the offensive side? The defensive side. Clue is the best overlapping left back in MLS. I love watching him play, but he's also a lockdown defender in space, and he's become much more selective about when he leaves space behind him on the overlap. Birch has never been that selective. He, he really is a midfielder by trade, yes, yes. and he leaves gaps behind him. He also doesn't have the makeup speed defensively that Clute had. So I, I think you, you're going to see Darlington Nagby really, really go to work in that gap uh, between the left center back and the left full back of uh, Colorado. And of course, Mark Birch is a very talented crosser of the ball. Yeah, so, so you don't he's lose, not lacking there. Right, you don't lose a lot offensively with Mark Birch in for Chris Clute. Yeah, now let's uh, switch our attention to Twitter. You tweeted out to fans, asked them for some questions, and we got one back from PDX Webster, and he asks, well, he says that uh, the Timbers aren't quite right until Zach Wani comes on for a routine. And then he poses the question, Zach Wani equals Wallace, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I don't necessarily know that you give up on Arudi as a starter after two games, but this is the same problem the Timbers had last year when w Rodney Wallace was out as he is now. They don't get penetration from any of their front three. And by that, I mean they don't have guys who can run past the back line, stretch that back line out, put them on their back foot. Portland does a good job as a unit pressing the entire team back, but all those defenders that they're pressing back are still front foot defending. Mm -hmm. When Zakawani or Wallace are in there, those guys have to get on their back foot a little bit more often, and that creates space in the central channels for guys like Will Johnson to run in for the, the third run, uh, Diego Valeri to do work in his own 14, and whichever your center forward happens to be. In this one, I think you're right. It does have to be Gaston Fernandez. All right, well, we'll find out if Fernandez does switch into a central role and if Zach Wani does start from the beginning. That one kicks off Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can watch it on MLS Live. 